Welcome to 12D Synergy Client Microsoft Office Suite for version 4. 12D Synergy allows easy interface with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel for versions 2010 and later. The plugins for these two programs work very similarly, so they will be described together in this section. To see the Word or Excel plugins, simply open one of their files. In this case, I'm going to choose a Word document. And I'm going to open it up read only by using the view. So the document's open now. When the plugin's installed at the time of installation, you'll see a 12D Synergy ribbon. In these tools, we have the upload. This allows you to import or upload a Word or Excel file into 12D Synergy. The get updates your local version to the latest version of the file from the server. Insert attribute allows attributes from within 12D Synergy to be placed in the file. Insert image can insert an image from a 12 from a 12D Synergy location. Refresh attributes allows attributes to be updated when changes have been made. Checkout allows the file to be locked for editing by others until you check it back in. And select mail merge data source populates a mail list to send the document to multiple people. Right, so currently I've opened this document read only as you can see, hence why some of these options are greyed out and not usable. So to be able to use those, first we check out, you can check it out from the ribbon here. So I'm going to select yes, so it reopens the file in edit mode. Coming back to the Synergy ribbon, now we can see that we have these other tools to use like inserting attributes. Document formats such as Excel and Word have plugins can have attributes embedded. When you update the source of these attributes, such as a, a job attribute, the document is automatically checked out, the attribute value updated, and then it is checked back in. Therefore increasing the version, but always ensuring your data is up to date. So to see how this works, let's go insert attribute. You can see it pulls up my attribute list, so we may want to use, say, the job name. So instead of typing these values, we can insert them. And we can keep going. So maybe we want the job address as well. And we could also put in the client. You can edit these as normal, so if I highlight them, I can turn this into a header as well. Just like that. Once the, uh, just for your information, once the attributes are inserted, the values can be highlighted, and as you've seen, you can use the word editors to make them bold, change the height, style, etc. When you're finished with your document, you can also use the 12D Synergy plugins to upload that back to Synergy. So I'm going to use the upload button. Yes, I'll save the document. And it gives me two options here. So no will upload the file only. Um, so it will check it back in and make it read only. And yes, will check the file back in, but leave the document checked out so I can, can continue editing it. In this case, I'm going to select no. Got my history descriptions here. I'm going to go manual and I'm just going to say header added and submit. As you can see in the background, the document is, is no longer checked out and it has gone back to a read only mode. So we can close that one down. Just a little something else that comes with Synergy. Um, if you click on that word document and then right click on it, come down to other, convert. There is a little word to PDF uh, option there as well. So we can pick that, 
go and pick where you want to save your PDF to so it's a new PDF and then submit and that'll go ahead through the conversion process and make a PDF of that Word document. So again if we have a look at that outputs folder where I saved it to there's our PDF and just note that down in the associations it associates back to its original document and you can use that as a nice little shortcut to go back to that document as well. The other part of the Microsoft Office suite is Outlook. So emails can also be managed by 12D Synergy. The email management module in 12D Synergy still treats emails as files but provides a special way to upload and track them. 12D Synergy also prevents duplicate emails from being uploaded. It can detect when an email is sent to several people in the organization and is only uploaded once and will mark the copies accordingly. However, if the user um, still wants to upload a duplicate email manually, uh, they can, but 12D Synergy will notify the user that there is an existing copy. The interface to the email management is via Microsoft Outlook, uh, again versions 2010 or later. So managing your email with 12D Synergy means that all your emails are tracked in a central location and the speed and power of the 12D Synergy searching can also be applied to them. So let's go and have a look at the Outlook plugin. Again, when the um, plugin is installed at the time of installation, you'll have a 12D Synergy ribbon with a number of tools on it. So we have the upload. This allows you to manually save an email from Outlook into 12D Synergy. You've got Change, which allows you to specify which 12D Synergy job you wish to connect to. You've got the Change Folder. This allows you to select a particular folder within that job. You've got the Current Connection, so it lets you know where it's currently pointed at. Um, you've got the Open in 12D Synergy, so that opens the path specified in the Current Connection. Settings, this opens the 12D Synergy Setup Panel. Um, we'll have a look at this shortly. You can have um, favorite save, so this allows you to save your favorite locations in 12D Synergy for easy access. So when you set your, your job and your folder location, you can then save them to your favorites. The search, so the, for searching your emails. Uh, you can save your attachments in an email separately. Again, we'll have a look at this shortly. I got the new uh, email from a template and then other tools here for version 4 are your drop zone so if we turn this one on you'll see another column come over on the left here so you've got your favorites okay and there's a number of tick box options there on what you can see okay so again if you upload an email it'll delete after upload if you don't want that untick it Uh, migration wizard, so the option of upload of mass emails to a designated sy Synergy folder. And then of course you've got the option to disable the 12D Synergy plugins as well. So let's have a look at how some of these work. So uploading, when emails are uploaded it depends on your settings but generally Outlook will attempt to upload emails whenever a new email is read or an email is sent. So there are several different ways that you can interact with Outlook and 12D Synergy. Largely this is to do with when Outlook will attempt to send emails to 12D Synergy. So you can choose which mode to run in by. And we do that under the settings. So under here, a few different options. So obviously everything, you've got no choice. All emails must go into 12D Synergy folder. You've got automatic again adds any new or outgoing emails and will prompt for extra information about which job to use. Your stamped emails only add stamped emails but will do nothing for emails without stamps. The stamped emails plus outgoing you can see this is currently the active one 
it adds stamped emails but it will prompt to add when sending new emails. The always ask, so you just get the prompt whenever a new email is read or an email is sent. And the manual only, this never prompts, it lets you decide when you're going to add an email to 12D Synergy. So to set a location, you can hit the change, you can pick uh, your job that you want, and then you can come to change folder, and you can pick your folder. So, so in this case, we may want the emails folder, and then to make that a favorite, simply tick the add to favorite button down here. I already have this one in my favorites, you can see it up here, Emu Park emails folder, okay. Um, so I don't need to hit select, but that's how you would do it here. Then when you come to your favorites up here, you can see all your favorites as well. So you can uh, remove or add new ones from here as well. So the way to upload an email, um, we've got an email here. It's one that's come in. I can simply now go to the 12D Synergy plugin and hit upload. And I can choose from my favorites. So I want the email folder and I go use. There's the stamp getting put on. So if we close this email down now and come back to our Synergy client, you will see that our email is now uploaded uh, into 12D Synergy. This is probably a good time to point out some of the new um, column options available. So you get new column options when it comes to email and if you want to reorder these you can simply click and drag them around. The other alternative to uploading emails um, via the upload button is you can use the drop zone. So if you select an email you can just drag and drop it onto the location you wish to go as well. And that will also stamp and upload it to 12D Synergy. So we talked about stamps and you'll see them in the 12D Synergy client. You'll see that they've, this one is using the job name as a stamp. So when an email is uploaded to 12D Synergy, the subject is modified to include a stamp. This is configured by your administrator, but usually will take the format of hashtag whatever an attribute value is. Uh, this is used by 12D Synergy to track which jobs your email should go into. If a new email has no stamp, Outlook will prompt you as to which job it should use. So let's look at sending a new email. Pick my email, who I'm going to send it to. Uh, let's put in a title here. Let's go RFI the two and we'll go new survey data. So you type your email to your client request for new survey features. Guards and then you send your email. Now, because I have a new email prompt, it's going to ask me, do I want this to go into Synergy after it is sent? In this case, yes. Up pops my favorites. I'm going to pick the email uh, correspondence folder. So we go use that one. So the email gets sent. It gets stamped on the way out. And uh, that client has received that email. So if we go back to the 12D Synergy client, you'll see my new um, email there. So I'm just going to go to the client's inbox at the moment and he's going to receive that email. There it is. We can open it up. You see the stamp in the subject line. So the client gets this email and he's going to reply to it. So I'm going to go reply and he's going to type his message. Here you go. And he's going to attach the new survey file.
There it is. And generally people don't uh, muck around with the subject line and they're just going to hit send to return the email. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my inbox now. And we're probably going to receive that email. There it is, it comes in the door. Open it up, you can still see the stamp there. Synergy processes it in the background. So if I come back to the Synergy client now, you'll see I don't have to do anything with it. It automatically got filed into my emails folder. Okay. So let's go back to that email. Now with this email, if we have a look at our 12D Synergy plugin, one of the options here is to save attachments. So I'm going to go save attachment. Um, comes up, they come up default ticked on, so you can untick them if there's multiples. There's only one in this case. So I'm going to go save. I'm going to pick where I want to save that to. So I want to save it to my 12D import data folder and go select. It's a new file and go OK. So again, if we went to that uh, folder where we saved that file, 12D input data, you'll see our survey final file that came in there. And again, you can see with the associations that it keeps its link to the email. So I always know where that file come from now. And again, if I want to read what's in the email, I can just right click on the association here and select go to. That takes me back to the email. There it is there. And likewise here, it has the association to the saved file. Just as a side note, if you look in Outlook, you do have the option to add a 12D Synergy column through the Outlook tools. And in this case, um, I can see these are ticked on, which means all these emails are inside 12D Synergy now. So um, you can select those and actually delete them from your inbox. Because if you ever want them again, you simply go back to 12D Synergy and I can double click on that one and it opens it up as an Outlook email.